one for setting up squeak or map if you're interested in um, doing it a little bit more securely or uh, whatever. Um, got squeak or map's website. I'll say squeak or because I've seen the Emperor's New Groove. There's these little squirrel things on there, it's pretty good. You need to watch it. Um, okay, uh, so uh, yeah, you, you need a Mac to follow this guide because we're going to do some stuff that you can't do on Windows this way. I don't know if you can do it on Windows, if you can, it'd be nice to see a guide. Um, so I need a disk utility. It's got a nice little feature, which can be used for more than what I'm illustrating now. But it's up to you to, you know, figure out when that's appropriate. New image. Uh, let's call it squeaky. And I'm gonna make it quite large. Cheers, Mark. Guest appearance on my screencast. Uh. Let me think about this. Let's make it 10 gig. Let's make it 15 gig. Just for shits and giggles. There's a joke in there somewhere. Uh, just give me this. Let's go, Mark. Encryption. This is where the secured bit comes in. It's not really secured in the sense of, you know, if you're using it against um, HTTP, then that traffic can get caught. But secured in regards to once it's written to your disk, it's actually written to an encrypted disk on your hard drive. So it's just an extra layer of security, which is really what I'm showing you. So when I say secured, it's not like, you know, if you point this at somebody else's website and you haven't got a letter of authority or you're using it for illegal purposes, there's no real security there. But where the security lies is, um, you know, your client uh, knows that you're doing every every step you can to secure any data extracted from their website that may be considered um, sensitive and, you know, you're doing a good job of keeping it secure. Um, we want to make it a uh, sparse image. What that does is it'll create a huge file, it'll create a 15 gig file, but it'll only be um, small, it'll fill out, so it has, the, it has the potential to be up to 15 gig or 256 AES encryption. But for now, it'll only take what it needs to encrypt the image and um, store data that's been given inside that image. So let's create that. It'll ask us for a password. Let's give it one. Uh, John, it's not the real password. You can see down here that I tried to do this before and fucked it up. Never mind. So, we move to here. Wait, wait. Feels not in there. So, uh, should I get some version of stuff? Yeah, cool. So, and then literally pull it down into the image. Thanks. Cheers. And you will see. Get it down. Go on up, Dev. Pulling down those files. Cool. So if somebody steals your computer um, and they manage to have your, you know, login password or the bit login password, they're still gonna have ridiculous time trying to compromise the password on the image that we've just created, unless it's the same one as your login or if it's a password that you've left kicking around in your bash history or you know whatever. It, it's there anyway. It's got potential. Enjoy. <laughs>